Do you enjoy upgrading your PC, especially when it comes down to cooling? I got you. And we're back, DLG fam. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to all the new viewers. Guys, it's getting really hot up here, and uh, we're going to talk about cooling. Cooling what? Cooling this thing over here. That's right. Bienvenidos a todos al canal de LG. Como siempre, muchas gracias por tomar el tiempo en venir a nuestro canal. Ahora vamos a hablar de cuál forma podemos mantener nuestra computadora más fresca. The main problem to your computer beginning to malfunction. And for today, an amazing company by the name of Deep Cool that might have given away what I have for you today. So cooling off your PC is very important. But which way do you go? Do you go the fan way or do you go the AIO way? And what do we have for today? Woo! That's a big boy right here. The Deep Cool LS720 SE White Edition. Yeah, that puppy right here. Look at that. It has one, two, three fans, a radiator, an amazing pump with the mirrorless effect right there. As you guys can see, you look right into it and you kind of start getting hypnotized just like Medusa. Just don't stare straight into the snakes. I mean, into the glass. So I actually do have a deep cool system on my PC over here, but this is the LS520. This is the small one. You're probably wondering, how am I gonna fit this in there when this only accommodates for two fans? Well guys, that's right. We're upgrading the case. I'm not gonna tell you just yet to which one because it's a surprise. But for today, we're gonna unbox this puppy right here, see what the contents are inside, the quality of the material that it's built with, and how can you control the RGB? Let's get to the unboxing, guys. Man, oh man, this looks like an amazing AIO cooler by Deep Cool, the Infinity Series. That's what I meant by Infinity because of that glass. LS720SE in white. They also make this one in black. This is a 360 millimeter liquid CPU cooler. I'll let you guys know what processor this particular model is compatible with. As you guys can see, this sucker's brand spanking new. All right, let's take this AIO cooler out of the box and see how does it look. All right, there we go. Okay, everything that you need is inside this box. Here are the three fans that you could actually daisy chain with each other and connect them to your system. Let's, uh, let's take one out so I can show you guys what this looks like. Look at that, guys. That looks pretty neat. All right. It's got the little dampening rubbers on the actual holes where the screws go. That way there's no uh, rattling around when it's actually spinning. And yeah, that's pretty neat. Okay. All right. So you get three of these right here. And what else comes in here? Obviously, the AIO pump. Look at that. Well, right now, all you're gonna see is a reflection of my camera or possibly even my face because it's not on. But the mirror itself, once the pump is on, it gives it the infinity effect where you look into it and it's an endless amount of rings, RGB rings to be exact, that go all the way to infinite space, You, I would say. All right, so let's go ahead and put the bag back on it because we don't want to lose this plastic since we're not going to install it right now. We don't want the thermal paste to get all over the place. All right, so as for the actual radiator, look at that, guys. That is a big boy right there. So you install your fans right here where the actual holes are at, lined up, put all your fans, line them up like ducks, and bam, there you go. And this sucker right here can only fit on a case that can actually fit a 360 millimeter radiator. And let's see what else comes in this box. All right, so here we are with the nitty and gritty. All right guys, so what is this AIO cooler compatible to? Well, it's compatible with both Intel and AMD. As far as Intel goes, the chipset that it's compatible with is the LGA 2066, 2011 version three, 2011, 1700, 1200, 1151, 1150, and 1155. That's a nice amount of actual chipsets that this is compatible with. As far as AMD goes, it's compatible with the STRX4, STR4, AM5, and AM4. I got a question for you guys. What processors do you use? I'm an Intel-based person, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that prefer AMD. Let me know which one do you prefer down in the comments below. So what else comes inside this box? Well, let's find out. You also get information and support and a manual that lets you know how to install the actual pump itself. And it's pretty easy guys, if you follow the step-by-step -step instructions, or if you've actually installed an AIO pump before, you won't have any problems installing this one. So the radiator is actually made out of aluminum. It measures 86 by 74 by 57 millimeters, and the pump speed actually operates at 3,100 RPMs, 
plus or minus 10%. The noise level that this produces is actually only 19 decibels. That's pretty quiet, guys. You know, because sometimes fans, they can get really loud. So the pump connector is actually a three pin pump, as you guys can see right here. The voltage for the pump is rated at 12 VDC. So yes, this pump itself does come with RGB as mentioned before. And what RGB controllers can you actually control the lighting with? So this pump can actually be controlled with the ASUS Aura Sync, the Razer Chroma RGB, the Gigabyte RGB Fusion, the MSI Mystic Light Sync, and the AS Rock Polychrome Sync. That is a total of five programs that you're able to control this device with. That's pretty dope that you could actually use Razer Chroma. For all you guys out there that actually have a lot of razor things and you use the razor app to actually control everything you could sync up the aio pump to work in unison with all your razor product if you're actually interested in purchasing this particular pump i'll leave a link down in the descriptions below i'll also leave a link to the actual deep cool website where they offer a variety of products not only cooling devices but actual computer cases power supply units peripherals and other accessories all right guys check it out the deep cool ls720 se in white as mentioned before this also comes in black but what do you guys think of this actual AIO cooler? Do you own one of these devices? I actually owned uh, one of the competitions cooler and that sucker gave out real quick. They're so far so good with this particular 520. It's actually been working really good and I have nothing bad to say about it. But if you do own a deep cool product, let me know down in the comments below, which product do you own? Is it an AIO cooler? what do you think of it so i will be giving you guys an install video once i get my case in and we will do a review on the actual aio cooler to see how well does it perform during this hot weather down here in la so if you're a dad woo, a gaming dad don't want to smack the monitors with that and you're looking for your next device that will turn your pc into a mini fridge don't forget to check out my latest video but till next time guys i'm tech peace out Bro, that would be dope if we could attach AIO coolers to our own body because, woo boy, it's hot up here today.